Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we are playing Cleo, A Pirate's Tale. This is a game that is by indie developer Christopher Schultz. I did the Kickstarter for it, and if you kind of like the old point-click Monkey Island types games, this is the game for you. It was super enjoyable and super fun. Uh, so we're just going to play the first little bit of it, just so you can kind of get an idea of what kind of game you're looking at. So we're just going to go ahead and start. And I've already done two playthroughs of it, and I have enjoyed you both of them. Story, hey? <laughs> First, let me ask you something. What is the most important thing about a story? A model hero? A villain that makes the blood freeze in your veins? A marvelously captivating narrator's voice? Or maybe... A happy ending. Hmm. In any case, I'm sure there is no better way to start a story than with me, <laughs> pirate legend Captain Kabika. <laughs> that was almost a little too easy. I did it again. Ah, oh, I am the best. Now. Ignaz's will of the wisp must be buried here somewhere. Alfonso, bring me the map again. Okay, so this will kind of give you this the basics of the game. So we press tab to look at the map. I wonder if uh, these have anything to do with it. Okay, so moving. Is just the simpleness right there. Interaction just kind of touching there. A pile of loosened earth. I think I should definitely dig here. And then the inventory is just other buttons. So to look, it's left. Work with this tool. It's right. Yikes! Not on the first try. <laughs> that has never happened before. Let's try again. Again? Okay, uh, this is uh, <laughs> getting embarrassing. You know, let's try that spot again. I feel lucky this time. Ah, now that looks better. Okay, so I can catch a cutlass by using that middle button. <laughs> so. Don't worry, this is not a combat game. So this is really the only combat you'll have to deal with. So, and these guys are just, just running around, swinging them. I'm going to even push this guy around. Ooh. Okay, so to go back to my inventory, I click here. And I can reselect the shovel. Okay, so a dusty but well-tuned instrument that was buried in the middle of Lufkey Island. Okay, when I look at it, I got some keys. To make life easy for you guys, we're going to look at the map. And the first note, second note, third note, fourth note, fifth note. So, first note is D, E, A, B, E. Okay. So, D, E, A, B, E. Simple puzzle to start off with. And there we go. At last, Ignatius Willow the Wisp. Now, how about I continue the story of me, a Ponzo and the Will of the Wisp? Sure, I could tell you that. But this story is about someone else. Chapter 1 Captain Avery and a Death by Drowning. Cleo! Hey, Cleo! Cleo! 
Cleo, have you heard what butt hair Pete fished this morning? What? What did you just throw at me? Tell her, Pete. I I guess it was a shrimp head. What? What? No. You were supposed to tell her what you had in the fishing net this morning. You are throwing a shrimp head at me? I am sitting right next to you. Couldn't you have just tapped me on the shoulder or something? Come on. Cocktail umbrellas. <laughs> what? Cocktail umbrellas. Crazy, right? There were hundreds of cocktail umbrellas in Pete's fishing net. Hey, Susie. <laughs> do I get another bottle? Ugh, my name is Cleo. Why do you keep forgetting my name? It's easy. It's C L E. Yeah, whatever. Just get Pete the bottle. <sighs> <laughs> okay. So. Take away getaway. The Adventures of Pirate Legend Captain Quebeca, Volume Twenty Three. It is so incredibly exciting right now. And we can look around. Really drinkable rum. We know rum. We make rum. No whiskey business. <laughs> no, okay, so we can grab our bottle of rum. And let's give it to Dad and Butt Hair Pete. Uh, Pete needs a new bottle of rum. Again. Hey! Did you guys know that Captain Kibika? Ah. Uh, he's on a treasure hunt with a monkey. I like he's it. He's on a treasure hunt with a monkey? Hey, Pete. What was the name of that bay again where you find all this crazy stuff? Oh, Panamu Bay. <laughs> the best fishing spot ever. Uh, I was just about to tell you something. Do I always have to tell you this? Nobody is interested in your made-up stories. We are bartenders. Our guests tell the stories. We serve the rum bottles. We listen. Listen? You must be kidding. I can literally smell what Pete did today. He fished... And he drank rum. Yeah, right. Pete caught the fish for Herbert's fish soup. While you were just leafing through your stupid fantasy pirate book. It's not fantasy. Take Away Getaway is the book series about the famous Captain Kabeka. Kabeka is a real adventurer, a legend. Not such a loser as... Pete? You! Carla, do you have more of this uh, spicy sauce? Cleo! No, uh, soy. <laughs> I'll bring it, Pete. Cleo, bring Granny Gavel a bottle of rum before you get bored to death. She's out in the dock, knitting. <sighs> aye, aye, Captain. Now, okay, so let's grab me another bottle of rum. And oh, shift runs faster. This is my little sister. Can you tell me a pirate story, Cleo? Later, okay? Wait, boo. Okay. This is Pete's crew. They're playing Kraken Fodder. Unfortunately, I don't know the rules of the game. This is not for children. Exactly. And not for girls. Uh, yeah, and not for... Uh, get out of here, man. <laughs> but hair Pete's back. Do I really need to say more? Nope, nope, nope. So it's, like I said, a little bit investigating. Get up, buddy. All right. <laughs> Dartboards in poorly lit bars. I bet that was an invention made by the eye patch industry. Oh, let's go out and let's find Miss Granny Gables. Oh, what do we got going on here? We have Cat Stevens. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Cat Stevens. Hmm. The guy looks busy. This is Granny Gabble. At least everyone calls her that. Nobody knows her real name. Hello, Granny Gabble. I have some more rum for you here. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be out there too. Discovering new islands, going on adventures, being anywhere else in the world but here. <laughs> It's always refreshing and so much fun talking to you, Granny Gabble. We had a great laugh, right? There you go. And we can 
move up here to this is gray worm he's currently setting a no fish cut record give it all you got gray worm i believe in you Ugh, the boat smells like pete whereas pete's smelling like the boat whatever both are smelling fishy for sure okay so we've given uh, grand gables her stuff so let's go ahead and return to the bar yeah, let's go ahead and... Wow, talking to Granny Gabble was a blast, as always. Can I please read my book now? Hey, where is it? Maybe I'll give it back to you when you've helped Hatchet Herbert in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Come on! Or your silly book ends up in the oven faster than you can say shrimp head. Mm. Alright, well, let's go help Mr. Herbert. Every night, at least one customer loses his hook hand in the bar. <laughs> and every day our wardrobe offers more space for goats. <laughs> okay. Hey, Herbert. Hello, Cleo. What a nice day, huh? What a day. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to help you. Great! That's even more fun! Please, fetch me a fish from the menu. Sure. Ew. Ooh. Why are you in such a good mood? Don't you notice anything about me? Look closely. He wants me to bring him a new... Yep, so let's keep... Taking some fish. Hmm. A new hatchet? Wrong. A master cook knows a hatchet is only as good as more fish. The cook who chops with it? Wrong again. The board is chopping on it. Ah, I see. A new cutting board. Let's see what else is around here. Ugh, no matter where I stand, these fish eyes are staring right at me. Ugh, spooky. Let's see what else we got around here. Hygiene is written in capital letters around here. It is most likely written wrong, but it <laughs> is in capital letters. How does the saying go? A knife in the hand is worth two... No, wait. That was another one. Mmm, yummy. A green fish soup. Garnished with glibbery fish heads. Enriched with... Well... Whatever the heck is crawling into the stockpot right now. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Correct. This board is the Stradivari among the cutting boards. Some say it's almost as good as one of cutting board pits boards. Cutting board pit? What? Never heard of cutting board pit? He is a legend in the cutting board business. He only made a handful of cutting boards. Some say these boards are invaluable and unscratchable. Wow, so what happened to cutting board pit? He took a blood oath to never craft a cutting board again. And then he was gone. Nobody has seen him since. Dun, dun, dun. What the? There's a dead hand and a book in my fish. Wow, this is a real pirate's logbook, Herbert. Holy cow. That is not going into my soup. I will inform your dad about this. I'm going to look at it. I need to know what's in this book. But these bony fingers are keeping the pages closed. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Touch a finger, something else opens. Okay, so th that one controls these two. Thumb. Ah, wait. Okay, this is just the pinky, okay. Ah, uh, I'm smart in this, I think. 
Maybe not. Okay. I think you're still up. That's... There we go. Logbook of the fearless adventurer Captain Avery Alwick. I fought three days and nights against the monster until I could finally kill it. By today, I will leave the Haven. Ha! The ship may sink to the bottom of the sea under the weight of all that gold. The wind blows right for me to sail to my final destination for now. Because there's still one treasure for me to search for. The biggest one of them all. The treasure of eternal memory. Whoa. A real pirate. Herbert is going to chop my head off. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh man, there is soup everywhere. What the? That looks like a word or a name. Ye call me Lely. My fish soup. <laughs> Look at the tears. Happened here? I I mean there was Why the cutting board? Cleo? No, that wasn't me. It it was a ghost. A ghost? Enough. Stop telling those lies. But I'm I'm not lying. Cleo, it's time for you to grow up. No more of this crap. My book? No! No! Tomorrow morning. You will go fishing with Pete. What? But I can't even swim. I thought you wanted to go on an adventure. And I seriously don't want to see you around here. No back talk. Mm. Cleo couldn't sleep that night. For the ghost's appearance left her no peace. What was all of this supposed to mean? The ghost, the blood splatter, Yako Malayli. Cleo opened the mysterious logbook she had found and started to write. It is too early in the morning. Hi, <laughs> and that's good. Why? A huge shoal of fish swims directly into Panamu Bay every night. I don't know where they all come from, but an old fisherman saying goes, if you fish early in the bay, you will have a very good time. You mean <laughs> day? Ah, don't make a fool of yourself. Have a look around and explore the boat. And don't worry, I'll let you know when we approach Panamu Bay. Okay, and there you go. So uh, we do have a logbook here that you can tab. So if you need to go back and kind of figure out what's going on, you can go from there. Currently, we just have a severed... Apparently, we just kept the severed hand as inventory because you know what? Why not? Why would you not need a severed hand in this game? So, but I am going to leave you guys at this. So like I said, the game is super fun. It runs mm, three to five hours, depending on how good you are at these games. Sometimes it might take you a little bit longer because I am rusty as heck at them. So, but thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.